I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like Wink Martindale to the Giants is inevitable. Now, we remember a couple years ago after the 2019 season, uh, Wink actually interviewed with the Giants for their head coaching spot, uh, but he unfortunately didn't get it. They went in a different direction. So now, uh, with their previous defensive coordinator uh, going to the Raiders, they have an opening. And with them having that opening, uh, they are actually interviewing Wink for that spot. And this could be something nice. Now, so much, in my opinion, depends on the Giants' personnel. I'm not too familiar with their personnel on defense, but Wink could be a good fit depending on the pieces that you have. Now, I know they have Leonard Williams, and Leonard Williams, if he can get consistent interior pressure, then I feel like that will make Wink's entire scheme uh, that much better. Now, we saw how Wink was against the run last year. He had the number one run defense in the league. But uh, as far as the pass defense, that's where things took a huge step back. Now, a lot of it was, of course, due to injury. Uh, and a lot of it was due to the lack of adjustments and not putting people in good position to succeed. Uh, so as Giants fans, if Wink is even hired, because it's just an interview, but that's where it starts. But as far as him... Uh, you're going to need to have some good corners and corners that can cover on an island, co corners that can cover one on one uh, because Wink is going to blitz. That is his personality. That is his strategy. He lives by and dies by that blitz. He don't play about that blitz. He will blitz you. He will pull you out the stands, send you on a blitz. He don't care what you're doing or when you're doing it. If he wants to blitz, he will send it. Now, um, depending on your cornerbacks, it will, it will determine how successful that blitz is. And of course, depending on the linebackers, but also the defensive line. Uh, this is why I brought up Leonard Williams, because um, if he sends a blitz, one thing that he hasn't had with the Ravens um, has been a good interior pass rusher. That, that, and I feel like that would just make such a huge difference, or it would have made such a huge difference uh, for all his blitzing that he did. Because a lot of his blitzes, guys would come from the outside and guys would almost get there. But then the quarterback would step up. And they would step up because with that in interior pressure, there wouldn't be any. So a, quarter could, a quarterback could just dodge those uh, exterior pass rushes and be like, oh, okay, well, I'll just move up in the pocket. I'll just step up in the pocket. I ain't worried about them. And then they would get the throw off. Then somebody would be wide open. So that, that's a big piece of the wing puzzle when it comes to him being a defensive coordinator. So if he does end up going to the Giants, okay, you could be set there with that. Or wherever he ends up, that will be such a huge piece to what he does. Him being able to have somebody that can create interior pressure. But we love Wink with the Ravens. Um, we've, I just, I feel like Wink got the short end of the stick, but they did say that the Ravens, they tried to sign him to a deal where they would have more control of the deal. Uh, so Wink was like, ah, you know what? Now nah, I'm straight. I I'm good off of that. And Wink hit it. He left. So hope everything goes well. I hope he gets the job, especially because the, oh yeah, Ravens play the Giants this year. Ooh, that, oh, that would be something. That would be something right there. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So Hope Wink goes and crushes that interview. And Giants are like, you know what? You hide on the spot.